Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some overcast skies across the region this morning. Seeing a little bit of uh, mist or sprinkles off to our north this morning that could continue to rotate down the peninsula, giving us a brief sprinkle this morning into the early afternoon hours. But uh, won't see much precipitation in general with that, just a few sprinkles or a little bit of drizzle across the region. As far as our lighting chances go today, they will be near zero and uh, just seeing temperatures today in the mid upper 50s. So a fairly tranquil day across the region, uh, winds well under wind advisory criteria and only that uh, slight chance of a few sprinkles or a little bit of drizzle across the region for this morning into the early afternoon hours. Our sounding from this morning, freezing level at 9,800 feet, winds at the northwest and the low levels around 10 to 20 knots, then becoming more southwesterly and increasing with height, seeing a peak wind at 20,000 feet, 51 knots out of the southwest this morning. Current surface analysis, we have this cold front off our coast uh, that brought us a lot of precipitation yesterday, um, seeing in general across the peninsula around two to three inches of rainfall. And uh, with that system previously this week, uh, seeing an inch, so we're about uh, three and a half inches of rainfall this week. Um, so. Uh, going to continue to see another chance of rainfall um, for the weekend with the possibility of around a half an inch of rainfall. So uh, seeing it possibly up to four to five inches of rainfall in some locations of the peninsula for one week in March. That is uh, well above normal uh, for our area and could be seeing uh, some of those low-lying areas seeing more flooding uh, across the region with the rainfall expected on Saturday into uh, uh, Saturday night. As far as the weather goes today, we'll have this uh, weak trough moving through uh, this morning, giving us uh, that slight chance of a sprinkle or uh, that uh, drizzle across the region. Our next system is developing across the Plain States. It's going to be moving towards the region on Saturday, giving us a chance of uh, rainfall as well as a chance of thunderstorm uh, Saturday evening. So taking a look at our current satellite imagery as well as uh, composite reflectivity. You can see a little bit of uh, that reflectivity showing up across Delaware this morning. Going to try to rotate down the peninsula for today. Uh, giving us that slight chance of a sprinkle or some drizzle. Overall, uh, fairly tranquil weather than that. Uh, winds aren't uh, very high this morning, only seeing winds uh, right now around uh, eight knots out of the northwest. So I continue to see the winds uh, fairly light for today in general. And taking a look at the three kilometer AM model, you can see here those uh, returns in the derived reflectivity here off the coast around this afternoon. And then overnight, we'll see uh, skies start to clear uh, partly cloudy skies for Friday, increasing cloudiness late, especially in the upper levels. And then we'll see a chance of some rain showers moving in for Saturday afternoon. Uh, here's noon here on the three kilometer NAM, seeing this uh, warm front approaching the region, giving us a, a good chance of some rainfall uh, for Saturday afternoon. And we'll see a lot of rainfall in total uh, Saturday afternoon, but uh, possibly seeing a tenth or two tenths of an inch of precipitation Saturday afternoon. And then once we move into Saturday evening, we'll see this cold front moving towards the region. We'll see some uh, more convective type rain showers moving the region on uh, Saturday evening into early morning hours of Sunday. And we'll have a chance of thunderstorm as well. So that's when we could be picking up uh, some uh, heavier showers across the region and seeing that uh, possible half an inch of rainfall. Uh, looking at the European model the next few days, you can see high pressure and control tomorrow, good weather in store, uh, just a slightly breezy onshore flow. And then for our Saturday, that system moves through, low pressure developing uh, across the southern Great Lakes. Uh, that's going to give us a warm sector of the system, and as I mentioned, a possibility of a thunderstorm uh, Saturday evening. And moving to Sunday, we'll see this uh, upper level low kind of sit over the uh, northeast as well as the northern Atlantic states. It's going to give us some windy conditions for Sunday and Monday, seeing winds possibly gusting as high as 40, 45 miles an hour. Tuesday, we'll most likely see some breezy conditions in the morning and then high pressure builds in for the afternoon. Starting to see a moderating uh, atmosphere on Tuesday into Wednesday. And it uh, looks like Wednesday we could be seeing temperatures in the mid 60s across the area. Partly cloudy skies, that'll feel pretty good after we see the temperatures only in the 50s with windy conditions on um, Sunday and Monday. So taking a look at our risk chart for today, we have a yellow here for our chances of uh, some sprinkles this morning. Otherwise, a green chart across the board, high today around 58 degrees, low today at 42. Uh, there's northwesterly to north-northwesterly winds today, 7 to 12, 18, 8 to 13 knots, gust to 18 knots uh, at its peak for this afternoon. Overnight, light northeasterly wind and uh, around 6 to 11 knots by tomorrow morning. 24-hour 20 terminal forecast, excuse me, we're going to see um, Clouds around 1,000 to 2,000 feet this morning in our ceilings 
And then we move in the afternoon hours, we're going to see those uh, ceilings possibly rise above uh, 3,000 feet, um, especially once we move into the uh, mid to late afternoon hours. And then overnight, we'll just see some uh, cirrus cloudiness in general uh, across the region. Tomorrow morning, we'll see a few clouds around 20,000 feet, as well as a broken deck at 25,000 feet. Our tides are half a foot above normal currently. Looking at Friday and Saturday, Friday partly to mostly cloudy and slightly breezy, a high 55 degrees, green chart across the board for Friday. Friday night, mostly cloudy overcast, a low of 40, uh, continuing with that green chart. And then Saturday, active weather returns again, mostly cloudy overcast, rain likely during the afternoon, then scattered showers and thunderstorms in the evening. It'll be breezy, especially during the late afternoon evening hours, a high of 54 degrees, and that'll be an evening high. Then temperatures actually rise overnight Saturday into Sunday with that uh, cold front moving through. So taking a look at the next seven days, uh, temperatures in general in the 50s for highs, overnight lows in the 40s. Uh, we'll see a temperature of 56 degrees on Sunday for a high, but it will be windy. Uh, Monday around 53 for a high, windy conditions continuing. Uh, Tuesday in the upper 50s and uh, breezy during the morning. And then for Wednesday, as I mentioned, looking at that warming trend, partly clay skies, high 64 degrees, looks like some nice weather for the middle of next week. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 15 at 10 a.m.